happy to have you here today. We're about to start the show, hooray. Welcome to Amy's Art Cabaret. Yay, welcome everyone, welcome. Yay. <laughs> We've got Barb again. Thank you, Barb, for being my unofficial official co-host. Yay. <laughs> this, is a, this is a good use of a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> yes, and also, um, Barb, um, thank you for always bringing Barb's mom. I see her in the chat box already before we even yeah. started. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> and today I have um, brought with me a little friend. He is, um, oh, there he is, kangaroo with a little Joey. I don't know if you can see his little Joey there. Um, I brought my friend in honor of Karen, who is with us, Karen Benjamin, an artist. And where are you, Karen? In the future. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the future. What does that mean for us? It means that we've just had breakfast and oh. um, we're on Sunday. Oh, Karen's literally in the future in Australia. And Karen, is all of Australia in the same time zone or not? Um. At certain times of the year, we're all in completely different time zones. I see where you're going with this. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> certain parts of the country along the East Coast should all be in the same time zone. But we don't have daylight savings. And that is because some Queenslanders who have voted against daylight savings say that the cows won't know when to come in and be fed and their curtains will fade too much if we have daylight savings. The curtains so, will fade. Yes. That's a concern that I've never thought about. Yeah. Like the curtains? Yeah. The curtains? As like in? The curtains, yeah. Like, yeah. like window <laughs> shades? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm afraid I don't get it. I, I shouldn't <laughs> be poking fun at Queenslanders because I've lived here for 30 years. But it's all right. Yeah. There's I come from yeah. yeah. See, I come from another state where we always had daylight savings. But yeah, Queensland doesn't. So. But we do here, and Barb and I are still in Saturday at 4 p.m. in the afternoon. <laughs> and the west coast of the United States. So for all my friends on the east coast, it's even later, three hours, they're ahead of us. Everyone's ahead of us, Barb. How do we feel about this? Barb, you're muted. Barb, I, or Sorry. I, 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 I can't I, hear I, 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 no, I thought okay. maybe I'd gone deaf, I got really you, worried. You totally have, <laughs> but just for my voice. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm okay with them being in the future as long as they give us like heads up on stuff. Oh, so you have, do you have specific questions? I mean, not usually specific ones, but like, you know, if, if something, if something's going to pop up that we really want to watch, either mm. bad news so we can avoid it or good news so we can make sure that we're like ready to take pictures, then, you know, it's okay that they're in the future. <laughs> it's exciting. It's okay. I'm sure Karen will warn us. Ooh. Karen will warn us. So, Karen, um, what's Aww. behind you? What kind of artist are you? What, or what kind of art do you make? Oh, uh, I am what I would consider an environmental artist. So I like things that are being thrown out. Ooh, because, like, geez, yes, like, like all of those. Sort of We're not familiar yes. with this kind of. <laughs> yes, I love that. Yeah, that was really clever. So in the background, oh, I've got to move the other way. See, yeah, it's, it's confusing <laughs> a little. <laughs> I've got um, I've got one dress there made from tea bags. Ooh. Then the other dress is made from plastic bags. And then over this way, there's another plastic bag dress. Oh, <laughs> and then the next one over, that's made from maps and leaves. Mm. And then the next one over is from uh, music sheets and pianola scrolls. Mm. So there are those. But then I have all of these other little bits and pieces as well too. 
that I just made from all sorts of seed pods that I find when I go out for my walk. So these ones are the latest ones. These I find absolutely fascinating. Are those the ones and that you take and you can hear? There yeah. are seeds in there, but you really can't hear anything in these ones. Oh, interesting. And I, I'm struggling to figure out what to do with them. But what I did do for uh, one workshop was I actually like drilled holes in and I put tiny little gum nuts in there and then people could use this as like a paintbrush. Oh. So, yeah, so they dip it in the paint and then put it on the paper. So I love this. I think this is really cool. But oh, I will really? show you some other seed pods. So these are, these are some other ones that I've made into just these tiny mm -hmm. little birds. Oh, I love that. Oh, tar. And then <laughs> I have these guys as well. So they're <laughs> gum nuts as well. And is that just and, acrylic paint? Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's all. But I have to put, like, lots of coats on because, um, yeah, they just it eat just it all up. It in, yeah. Yeah. And then I have these guys <laughs> i love and that so, oh thank you so they're um banksias i'm just trying to find a banksia seed pod i don't know if you would get banksias so this is a banksia oh huh. i don't think we do so yes and do you get pine cones yes these are mm -hmm. pine cones yeah yeah we have a lot of those Okay, and so these are another recent find of mine. Do you get these? Oh, no, but I want them. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that looks amazing. That's just a seed pod. That's just nature. Yeah, that's, so that's cool. right. And I'll tell you a funny story about what I did with these because I love them so much. I've been gardening a lot, and um, and what I did was – I set up this little installation in the garden with just some um, just some sticks and I thought these would look really pretty on the end of the sticks. And so mm. I tied them all into the sticks and thought my creation just looked fantastic. But then it rained and what happened was when it rained, these all closed up into nothing. Oh, so, weird. I know. I know. So they're still they're still like a living thing. So I just thought that was fascinating. I haven't that got one that's closed, but um, but yeah. But you know, I I will just take anything that's not nailed down. Basically, if it looks like it's going in the bin or it's a bit of waste, then I will take it and I will try and do something with it. And so, and I know that's true because walking around LA with Karen. <laughs> her husband had to st yell at her but not really yell just say her name because Karen stopped walking we were walking around the neighborhood Karen stopped and looked down and was staring intensely at these palm tree pieces that had fallen to the ground and he said no you can't take them back home <laughs> and I think that's correct I'm not, I don't think you could get them on the plane but maybe no. in check-in bag I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't be able to get away with it. So we have very strict quarantine rules here. So, and I did leave the country years ago with a, a dream catcher because mm -hmm. my son was quite young and he used to have bad dreams. So we took we took the dream catcher and then we came, when we came back into the country, it got picked up on security and they said, you've got feathers in that bag. And I, I swore black and blue that I didn't have feathers. I said, mm. there's no way there's any feathers in there. And they said, did you pack this bag? And I went, yes, I did. And I did not put feathers in there. And so they opened up the suitcase. Oh, no. It's like, oh, <laughs> and then, well. <laughs> there's the dream catcher. <laughs> they thought you had a bird. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, embarrassing. But, yeah, you're right. I wouldn't get back into the country with it. But I just I wanted to have a look. So but You did. It was a pretty intense look. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you were studying the whole, you're like, okay, this is the way the grain goes. It folds under. 
I'm going to go home and make a palm leaf. Mm. <laughs> That's really interesting because I don't, I don't even remember that. Oh, it was funny. It was very brief, probably, but it was funny. Yeah. It, caught, it caught my memory. <laughs> yeah. Well, it doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> oh, and a, a side comment here. Barb's mom um, posted that, Karen, that you're smart in Australia because when the time changes, there are more traffic traffic accidents in a week. So if you don't do the time change, less traffic accidents. Oh, well, that's interesting because we do have like lots of problems at the border with the with the time change and the time delay. And it is really, really awkward because if you live on the border, it is really hard. So and if and and between airports, like if you miss Brisbane Airport and then you fly into the Tweed, which is just over the border, you've got to make all of those allowances for the time difference. It's mm -hmm. yeah, it's it is very hard for people that live on the border. Um, Interesting. Mm. We're learning so much today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Karen, you chose the natural world, and I let you just make it as vague as you wanted because I love the mm. opportunity for us to go in any direction. What are you going to make today? Oh, look, I thought that I would show everybody um, how I make one of my gum nut men because that's really quick. Yeah. Yes. And then I'm going to make a necklace <clears throat> out of these. Um, I went looking for things yesterday and I found these with a hole and actually they were hanging up outside, outside my kitchen window and I just <laughs> took them down and I thought, well, they might be like a really nice necklace if I like wove them in with some other bits and pieces. Yeah. And then if I've got any left over time, I really want to have a go at making a headpiece with these guys. You should. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I love that. I love that. And then Barbara, what you were gonna make for your make along? My plan, uh, which is gonna be interesting because I haven't actually done this before and because I don't have, I have to make the tools for it first, um, mm -hmm. is I wanna do um, some hyperbolic crochet. Uh, Ooh, I can, let me, let, me, yeah, let, me, let me share screen and I'll show you some stuff here. Yeah, in case there's any confusion. Because earlier before we started, I was finger crocheting, so. Mm -hmm. So like these are some um, some things here that folks have done. Uh, the idea is um, that you kind of increase the uh, you increase the number, just you keep on going, and it can wind up looking a bit like um, some coral. And I mean like this kind of same shape you see on like the edges of like lettuce, um, on some um, some slugs and various other kinds of um, things in the natural world. Uh, and I thought that it would be fun to do that. And I might do at least part of it. I've got a bunch of plastic bags because um, at the beginning of lockdown, they would not let you use recycled bags at the stores. They just gave you the plastic things that they had. Um, so I have a bunch of those. Uh, and I thought it might be fun to crochet with that. Definitely. So this, this though looks like there's a lot of math involved in these crochet I mean, there's that you can you can get into the you can get into the math of it. Um, but you can also just kind of do. Oh, it. right there! Look at that. That's a nice yeah. picture. There's a whole bunch. Let's see. Karen, do you crochet? Some interesting things. I don't. I wish I did, but these are amazing. And a few years ago, when I was at a um, a yarn bombing competition. Some people had made all of these and hung them in the tree and they looked awesome. They do. They're pretty cool. We will see if I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, that looks nice. I was making a, a finger knit piece or before we started um, because there's a call out right now for Yarn Bombing LA um, for vis like virtual yarn bomb where you are because we're still all stuck at home here in the US and then send in a picture. So when that finishes, but it, I got inspired by Karen. I went out hunting for stuff, um, but I didn't do it ahead of time. So nothing's dried up enough that I feel like I can use it yet. So instead I went hunting in my recycle bin and I pulled out egg carton and I think I'm gonna make 
some goggles. <laughs> oh, the nose on, so that I have a beak like a bird. That's my plan. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, so Karen, you want to show us your gum nuts? I mean, we don't have any of these. Do we have any of these? Uh, not, no, not you know saying. what? You do have gum nuts. I knew Karen would know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't rem I can't remember if it's where you live now or it was when I come to visit you the last time in your other house. When we parked the car in your street, we walked down your street and we looked at all the trees before we got there <laughs> and we saw some gum nuts. Oh so I was very impressed. That means that Barb, who lives near where I used to live, <gasps> lives near some gum nuts. So similar to what you're holding right now, that they were a little bit different to these ones. The smaller, because that looks very similar to something I've seen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. They might have been more shaped. This is a more rounded shape. Yeah, rounded and smaller. I think. But yeah, smaller. yeah, they thinking? weren't as big. So um, I've got some other ones here, but they were they were still bigger than those ones. Oh, those are really tiny. Yeah. That's more like what I'm thinking, I think, yeah. Yeah, so you do have them, because mm -hmm. I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> now, I wonder if that was in someone's property, because I don't I imagine No, that they were out on the street. They were out on the oh. footpath. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, like, uh, like these. Yes. Like these kinds yeah. of flowers here. Oh, yes. those flowers we have, I've seen them mm -hmm. everywhere. Yeah, I just yeah. didn't realize what their seed pods look like. Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting because um, what I've learned is over time the seed pods change. So because like, oh, where are my hats? So to make a gum nut man, I need a hat, which is like this little one. Let's see. And oh, yeah. what has mm. what has happened is my neighbour. He had his tree produces these in massive quantities. So I thought that I'd have these forever. And what's happened is his tree has matured. And instead of being like this, they now develop into this. <laughs> so so but what's happened, I've only just realized, is that my tree produces these. Ooh, wrong way <laughs> my tree produces these but if I catch the gut them early enough before they go like this they do go like that before they turn into that oh so it's a matter of catching them I got yes. to catch them on time yes so I go out every day at the moment and look at the trees but the interesting thing is is the shape of these gum nuts has changed and it could be just because of the weather but mm. these ones aren't as pretty on my tree this year they're a bit like uglier they sort of fan out and yeah. they're not as pretty so maybe it's because like you know we didn't have enough rain or we had too much rain but they do seem to change from year to year and I didn't realize that I thought when I started I'd have a constant supply of everything that was the same but that's not so. No, nature's changing on you. And that also reminds me of another good point that I'm not sure everyone who's watching is aware of or that Barb's aware of. Barb, do you know what season Karen is in right now in Australia? What season are we in? Oh, she's like, it's we're, a <laughs> No, I'm, we're in summer. That's, this is the question. You're in, you're in winter, yes? Yeah, okay. yeah. Like, that's, that's the question. Is like, does is summer, is summer just inherently different, or is it the uh, yeah? No, you're in winter. Yeah, yeah. Middle of winter. So this is our coldest time. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> High five, Barb. Yeah, but your winter, it's your nice seasons are similar to Los Angeles, would you say, or the weather, or do you get really cold? I think so. We we have a period which we're in now where well, we're just coming out of it where I say, you know, well, the joke is here in Queensland is winter lasts for one day and um, 
but it doesn't really I, but i'm very cold it lasts for two weeks as far as i'm concerned when the weather's really cold where you need to really really rug up and like put a cardigan on but having said that yesterday we got caught out because we went for this beautiful walk in the park and we had i had a long sleeve shirt on and by the time i got home i was sweating like a pig because it was a beautiful beautiful sunny day so so yeah so i think it would be quite similar to your winters as well that sounds about right <laughs> yeah it's a bit awkward because you don't know you have to start off you know with all of these layers on like i've got now Mm -hmm. And then by the time it gets to two o'clock, you know, you can be in a T-shirt, but then wait another two hours and then you've got to rug up again. Oh, yeah. I have layers in a bag with me constantly. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Very similar. Cool. Cool. It's good. We are still learning a lot. So, Karen, did you want to show us your gum nut man? And then um, Barb and I can get started to show us oh, how to make your gum. Yeah, if you want. Yeah. yeah. We want to learn. It's, okay, we're going to pretend very, we very have It's very, very easy. All right, so I've got a gum nut. I'm just going to trim his stem. And then when I was looking for all of my little gum nuts that I showed you before, in with them I found this really little one that somebody has put a face on. Now, I don't know who. That could have even been my husband. Can you see the little face? Oh, yes. <laughs> How cute is that? That's perfect. And then I'm just going to put a hat on him and he's done. So that's it. Oh, my goodness. I was That's so quick. I was trying to follow okay. along with my egg carton. I was pretending <laughs> that <laughs> this is my gum nut. I cut off his imaginary stem and then I got my little one. Oh, uh, I didn't get to uh, extra part. Oh, I guess I could have used like this. Here we go. Pretend yeah. that's that. <laughs> Actually, he looks a little bit like a penguin. Oh, he does. You're right. Oh, this part is. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh no, his head's going up. Oh, maybe I'm going to turn this into a penguin. I kind of like this. There you go. <laughs> I that's have part of the natural world. It is. I have yeah, a huge setup true. of stuff here, so this goes along. Okay. Look at the mushrooms. They look cute. Oh, yes, I found me. Someone is throwing them out. Cute. I think they're clay. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah. I thought you might have made them. No, no. I'm just, I just grabbed all the weird little things. You can't really see him. He's a butterfly. Uh, Mina. There he is, ladybug. Oh. I just have a lot of weird little things in my... My, That's true. my flat, as you would say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm turning, I'm turning so I can go down and we can work a little. If yeah. anyone wants to interact in the chat box, we are paying attention today. Not that we worked <laughs> the other day, but sometimes we get so well, focused you know, our eyes we We're like, oh, we're not just, you know, hanging out. So <laughs> I'm going to continue working on my penguin. And I'm going to plug in my hot glue gun. I'm going to tilt this down. I'm pulling an Amy and not using glue today. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and yet I'm using glue today. <laughs> yeah. Karen, I was trying to challenge myself the last couple of weeks not to use glue. Oh, okay. For no reason, just my own challenge. Well, sometimes you just need it, though, don't you? Yes. Yeah. It's interesting to try the alternate uh, methods of attaching, though. Yeah, oh, yeah, true. Yeah. So, yes, I looked high and low, and I know I have crochet hooks, but I could not find them. So this might not work, but you know, we'll find what out. Are you, are you whittling there? I am. I am. Yes, I'm carving myself a crochet hook from a oh, dowel. Cool. Uh, and I sanded that part so it's got a little bit of a hook to it oh it does that looks really cool uh i wasn't gonna leave this pointy but i think i might i think that might make things easier for me oh, oh i just found a marker i didn't know i had we will try it well i will try it yeah i i could try it but i'm not there <laughs> it's That's a little true. hard for me to reach over right, let's get rid of some of this 
I might mix things up. I do have yarn and some other kinds of materials, but I'm gonna start with plastic. I mean, Amy would remember when we did, um, at work we had like a workshop and we did um, woven things. Yeah. Um, and she did like a super cool thing. Um, I did this that I didn't never actually finished, and this is like torn up bed sheets. Oh, I like yours. Yeah, this, this is, is t-shirt yarn. This is yeah, 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 yeah. That's so pretty. This Thank is like you. crumpled. This is like twisted crumpled paper, like packing paper from a. That's very cool. cool. Package. Also considered 3D printing a um, a crochet hook, which I have done in the past. But then I'm like, that kind of is um, making a plastic crochet hook for this kind of uh, defeats the purpose a little bit. Yes, of the natural world. Of the natural world, and <laughs> like the idea of of a. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Uh, my friend Carlin posted something, I see. Uh, oh. or a, yeah, she said, use the toothbrush for a prison crochet hook. <laughs> uh, I was just using a toothbrush earlier this week, but not for, <laughs> not for a crochet hook. Not more recently. <laughs> uh, I was using it to paint. I, mm -hmm. I made a crazy painting that I added actually a bunch of stuff onto. This is my uh, painting I just did. And it's so funny because when I painted this painting, I painted it looking at it this way. But I automatically declared that it goes this way and it turned into a face. Yeah, but it looks cool. And I used some toothbrush on that. <laughs> so you've not used a toothbrush since then, huh? That was Thursday. Mm. I don't brush my teeth anymore. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Good thing we're uh, not seeing you in person, I guess. Wait, wait, do you want to up But poor Richard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I, I was using a different toothbrush. I, I'll stress that. Ah, okay, okay. That's all right. Then. And also, Barb, mm. oh, I, I literally keep throwing things around today. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, we're part pirates. So do pirates brush their teeth? I don't know. Arr, probably not. <laughs> so I was thinking about using some felt on my penguin to make him. I think that would be the perfect thing for a penguin. Yeah. Well, now he looks like he's got a cape on. So you want to use a white part first. If and this crochet hook doesn't work, I might actually go down and get a toothbrush because I have some old ones. You have a toothbrush? I have old toothbrushes, yeah. I thought you were just going to say you have a toothbrush. Karen, do you have a toothbrush? <laughs> <laughs> I have several toothbrushes. <laughs> uh, but they, they're so handy for doing other things as well, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They're really good for cleaning. Yeah, that's what I was Which doing is, with the brush. <laughs> It's boring, but I mean, you know, they are really good for cleaning. I I used my toothbrush for cleaning, then I cleaned it, and then I used it for painting. Oh, great idea. Ooh, another comment here from Carlin. Does she brush her teeth? Uh, I <laughs> imagine she does, but that's not what she's talking about. <laughs> she says that Karen's matching dress and mask on her website are beautiful. Oh, yes, I meant to say KarenBenjaminArtist.com. Is that correct, Karen? That's right. That's it. So, Oh, thank you for that comment. That's the toilet paper dress. Yes. Another so, that dress. is. For those who don't know, Karen and I were going to enter a show together, and we had to make it 80% paper. And so we thought about what could fly across the world <laughs> from LA to Australia, and we decided on toilet paper, recycled toilet paper. Not, I mean, not I mean, toilet paper that had been used, but toilet used, paper yeah, that I, was made of recycled paper. I went to the sewer, it. dug it up, laid <laughs> <laughs> it out to dry. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. 
com composted paper. I don't know what to call it, but anyway, <laughs> uh, I made a cape and then Karen made a dress and then Karen went forward and I had pulled out and COVID happened. So I couldn't have gone there anyway. That was my plan was to ship it with myself. And so Karen, you made the mask and everything to go with it all out. Of you made a headband too, right? Yeah, I yeah, did. Beautiful. But it's interesting because you know that you say that you pulled out. It was probably a good because the international, a lot of the international people that entered that competition, they mm -hmm. couldn't get there. They got accepted, but they couldn't get their stuff into the country. Oh yeah. Which is really sad because it's yeah. You know they've still been included, but they're not even in the exhibition because they're not here yet. So oh, yeah, that's uh, tough. yeah, it is. It's sad, isn't it? Uh, to put all of that effort in and then be accepted and not be able to get your work here in time. It's very sad. And yeah. the, at the beginning of the virus as well in the beginning of lockdown, it was really hard to just get things transported around the country. Yeah, things were a little, it got really crazy and I was like, I'm just gonna pull out. And it was right before that happened anyway, so. Yeah. I don't know if it's any less crazy now, we're just maybe more used to it. That's it's true. Hard. It's still crazy, yeah. you're correct. It's still pretty mad. But you know, I got the idea of the um, the toilet paper because of the competition that's held in America, the um, the wedding dress challenge made yeah. out of toilet paper, and um, and I actually got to see that show here in Australia this year, so I was wrapped. Oh, wow! The only yeah. problem was was um, because I'd seen it all go down on Instagram, I knew who'd won. So they were going through the whole competition. Yeah. And I thought, oh, damn, I, know, I already know who won this. But we still got to see. <laughs> it was spoiled. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh I, I also want to say hi. My mom's watching and my mom mm -hmm. and dad are watching. Hello. So we have people all over the planet watching. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hi, Amy's mom and dad. <laughs> yes, I'm sure they're saying hi back and waving. <laughs> yeah, Amy, that that dress uh, you mentioned was in that uh, the art show. This is the same dress, right? That was in yes. the, the the fun a day art show uh, in Long Beach. Correct. This I just want my... Yeah, that was this year. That was actually. It's weird to think about. I know. Our show was in January of 2020. <laughs> <laughs> It Our show here happened, Karen. So very and long ago. <laughs> it's interesting because a lot of the other funny days, even there's one in Scotland, for instance, and they're all over the place. Um, had oh, shows. No, I didn't know that. Up. Yeah, you could start one there. We'll, we'll connect <laughs> about that. And then, um, but they couldn't have their show because it was scheduled for March. So they're just mm. doing a virtual show, and they just got around to that right now, trying to set it up. Is that the one that you created that um, uh, the the paintings for that we made uh, a recycled wood frame? Oh, that's a different show. That's a different show. Amy has a lot of shows. I have a lot of stuff I'm doing. Yes. <laughs> I, I guess oh, my uh, blog says it best that I'm a creative and in, involved in a plethora of activities. Mm, that's true. Yeah, and I like the word plethora, so. It's a good one. <laughs> right I now, really like what yeah. you did with that tree. I want to pinch that idea. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was, it was funny. I was just talking to some people. I was teaching a class on Thursday, that painting class, and telling them in 2006, I started cutting up or tearing up pieces of paper that were in my apartment. And I put them all in a blender and I made a four foot tree and I thought, I'll put it in my friend's backyard and see, we thought maybe three months. And then five years later, it's still <laughs> there. <laughs> and then I moved to California and I said, can, can you take in what's left of the tree, dry it out and mail it across the country to me? And she did. 
And then I made it into an unusable purse that you can see on my website <laughs> <laughs> because it's got no bottom. It's only, it was three or four, I think it was three feet. And now it's about a foot and a half by maybe a foot or less. It's very small now and flat. It was circular. I still love the idea. I think it's great. Thank you. And it was really interesting because I used papers that I printed on, gas station receipts, all sorts of stuff that was in the apartment. And even after pulverizing it and using a blender and stuff, you can still see some of the letters. <laughs> so what kind of scary toxic ink are they using? Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't go away. Yeah, and they do have alternatives that they can use. Yeah. So, you know, um, I have a friend who's into vegan tattooing. Oh. What do you do for vegan tattooing? So there you go. I'd never heard of it before. Now we want to go get vegan tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we have to wait till we can fly to Australia to get them. Mm -hmm. Does it not exist here? Maybe it does. I bet it, I bet it does. Yeah. We are like, LA is very into vegan. We are mm. very into vegan. Uh, I, I bet we could probably find, oh, <laughs> find I think, something. I think I'm making them into a gnome by accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't connect it yet, but I'm like, this is going to be his hat. It looks like a gnome with an apron. It does. <laughs> He's no longer a penguin. <laughs> he's a working gnome. Yeah, working he's got a job. It's hard At a times. bakery? At a bakery. Let's go bakery. <laughs> What's his name? Oh, wait, he's not fully formed. I'm going to okay. have, have him tell me his name when he's done here. Gotcha. Okay. What do they make at this bakery? Like what kind of wild... Black uh, and white cookies. Look at him. Hmm? They make black and white cookies there. Black and white cookies, okay. <laughs> does, that sounds good. He does look like a special magical creature. <laughs> His hat doesn't have a back, so it's good in the bakery. It gets all this ventilation. Oh, yeah. That's true. He's also a finger puppet. Excellent. Oh, that's handy. Uh -huh. <laughs> finger puppets are pretty great, I they must are. admit. I enjoy them. I enjoy them very much. Oh, oh, Karen, do you see the emoji coming up from? Uh, oh, I do. <laughs> this is my kind of a uh, slightly Stephen Colbert uh, finger puppet. It is a finger Excellent. puppet. Excellent. <laughs> I have a lot of them. <laughs> yes, Barb has more than. Well, do you have more than you have fingers, or do you have just? Oh, fingers? I definitely have more than I have fingers. Yeah. No, I you have. You can use them in all sorts of situations, can't you? Oh, yeah. So oh, there's wow. That. There's an elephant whose eyes light up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. There's a. There's two mallards. One who's <laughs> oh, kind of just normal and one who's angry. Have you not oh, seen these, God. Amy? <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. Everyone can see this. Hold on. Okay. I didn't see the mallards before. Those are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you really have, it's not stopping, is it? The finger puppet thing. <laughs> there's that. <laughs> there's um, my octopus. Let me find a battery and I can show you how oh, they light Oh, eyes up. light up? Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Oh, wait, uh, wait, wait, this way? No, wait. It's the other way. That's the battery is upside down. Uh oh yeah. Or is this battery dead? That's a, another possibility. Oh, goodbye, battery. Next one. I have, yeah. I have, I have a lot of bad books right here. Come on now. Oh, oh, now we're getting a close up of the whole desk. The whole desk. <laughs> anyway, I have batteries. I can, I can do How this. How many batteries? Is that a whole sheet of batteries I just saw? Yes, no. <laughs> no, yes, no. <laughs> no. There we go. Come on. I saw something. There oh, there go. it is. Oh, oh my gosh, Karen, he's but, scary. But they change. <laughs> they change. They oh, change colors. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's cool. These were all, um, cool. Carlin in the chat is part of a, um, a live stream that I do on Friday nights with my, with, uh, with uh, her and her husband called Deep Fried Neurons Happy Ooh. Hour. Uh, and we make things, and this was one of my projects, was making finger puppets that are creatures whose eyes oh, light oh, up. 
Karen, does this look like a cane toad? <laughs> if it does a bit, yeah. <laughs> and there's a cat. Oh, and there's a lot of emotion. Yeah, there's probably something else, but I don't recall. Yeah, and then I just did a whole bunch of emoji ones. So that, oh, you know, in any given right. any given situation, I have the right uh, the right emotion. And the up. finger part is also just paper, even though oh, it looks all of this. Cube. Yeah, it, this is <laughs> it's marker on paper, and mm -hmm. there's tape. Oh, okay. Got and that's, it. That's, that's it. literally it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, these are a little bit more. There's there's the LEDs, cool. and then there's wires that are soldered together on the back here, mm -hmm. um, making a little very cool. A battle bit battery to go to. Very cool. <laughs> Yay! That was so cool. Yay. Yeah, I love them. Maybe Thanks. we can make some gum nut finger puppets too. Yeah, that would be cool. Because there's already a hole for your finger, right? Here, oh, there here. it is. <laughs> Actually, where's the guy I just made? Let me have a look. <laughs> yeah, I feel like now I have to switch and do a finger puppet. I don't. I didn't mean to. Oh, look at him. There he is. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, uh -huh. that's perfect finger puppet. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's cute too. <laughs> he's not done. His dad's going crazy. He's becoming a nun, I think, or something. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> I, gotta, I, I meant to put these down. I'm going to still do okay. that. <laughs> and then, uh, yes, your finger puppets are still beloved, Barb. Beloved. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a fan of them too. Thank you, God. <laughs> And then I am using a hot glue gun that is extremely hot today. So I'm using my glue covered pencil so that I stop burning my finger. For shame, Amy, you're not using a cold hot glue gun? Uh, they do make them. Well, low temp cold one. Low temp. You know, which I was isn't using, really that low. For the low temp one, I was using one for the pirate show because I used it the whole time. But this one is mm. so hot that mm. it says hot on a sticker on it. And it's it will start smoking if I leave it in too long. I mean, low temp ones are still like at least a couple hundred degrees. Mm. They're still like two or three hundred degrees. But that one, that well, two? yeah, that's true. The cool one I was using, or the low temp one, was so low temp that it, I got glue on my fingers and it was fine. This one I had glue a couple times, and if the camera was on my face, you would have seen. I was like, ah, mm -hmm. the same <laughs> Now I have some flowers. Maybe if I put a flower on them, it'll look less priestly. Mm. Oh, wait. It's not a it's not a holy um No, now he looks he's very his flower's too big. Mm. It's not a holy it's a, a holy, holy penguin, a holy, holy baking penguin. penguin. <laughs> <laughs> holy penguin holy. baker. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna let anyone throw out any more egg cartons. I really <laughs> love this. No, I don't. I'm saving egg cartons at the moment for a new dress. I'm gonna need some more. Oh, the plastic ones or the paper ones? The paper ones. I'll just jump up and see if I can find what I'm doing. Hang on a tick. Yeah, I love the paper ones. Hang a tick. Hang on a tick. Yes, I forgot I to love the barb all the lingo that they use. And I, love, I love it. No, I've got, I've uh oh, Karen's under an ambulance. Careful. <laughs> Careful, mother. We can't come and help you, but we can. Um, it's all right. <laughs> we can call for assistance. We could call for assistance. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. Let's see. Oh, dear. What do okay, you have? I'm back. Oh, here we go. Here's my husband. No, Amy was calling for assistance, not me. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> she, she was knocking everything over. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is that. what I've been doing. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That's awesome. What? Uh, you're sewing across it, right? Yeah. What's this so, material? Um, this is egg carton. So, is that. um? Where's the other part of my egg carton? Is it's that like top. oh, that's the flat? I see, I see. That's I see, like I see. the yeah. lid. Part. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm like, how is yeah. this egg gardens? Yeah, that's yeah, what I was thinking. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And what happens is, like, with a little bit of water and very mm -hmm. gently, you can mold it. Mm. Oh yeah. So it can, like, you know, be 
be molded to uh, fit the body. That's awesome. Mm. So yeah, you definitely need to mold for the body. That reminds yeah. me. Yeah. I did something where um, toilet paper tubes. I'll have mm -hmm. you all come walk yeah. over. <laughs> it's a mobile, and it's similar to what you did. Their hearts, mm -hmm. all painted on different shades of red on one side, but it still curves a little. From the yeah, they look too. good. And yeah, the they're lovely. Lovely little mobile. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I've made um, lots of wristbands from them. I don't have any on right oh, yeah. now. That's a good one. But I like that you're wetting it. That's a good technique. Mm. Yeah. That reminds just, me of... Mm -hmm. I was just going to say, it's just the perfect material because, um, you know, it's going to end up in the bin and it's already recycled paper as well too, which I love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, sorry, been, Barb, what were you going to say? Yeah, Barb. <laughs> <laughs> I was just I was gonna say it reminded me a little bit of um uh doing wet fold origami. Oh so I've never do, done that. Yeah, it's fun. Like if you get the right kind of paper, because not all papers will um will withstand it. Um if you fold with like um manila envelope type material, you can usually um get it a little bit um to work a little, but it sometimes gets a little bit rough. But um, my favorite kind of paper for wet folding origami is um, called elephant hide paper, which is not oh. actually made from elephants. Thank goodness. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's just called that because it's really, um, it's really strong. It's really sturdy. And you can get it wet and you like dampen it with a sponge and it'll, you know, uh, it'll, so you, you can it. form it really nicely. And I've made mm. some koi oh, wow. fish out of that. that mm. So you need a thick okay. piece of paper, not a piece of paper like this. Uh, no, but then it'll bend pretty well on its own. It won't. Uh, it won't yeah, do the same shaping. Well, maybe you could do that well, if you were really that, Amy? It. This is just Did a you make paper. that? No, I was. Um, I inherited all these papers that people mm. were throwing away. This one. Oh, looks, I love that. I think I could read this one if I wanted to. It looks like the newspaper. I have just a huge pile of paper, and. Um, Oh, look at the necklace. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> that looks great. awesome. Oh, let's look at Let's admire that. that. Oh, I like it. So Did these you, painted? Yeah, they look painted. Yeah, I painted them. Yeah, I painted them and they were just hanging around outside. So I took them down. So to recycle Literally. them again. Hi. <laughs> this looks <laughs> awesome. Hi. Okay, and so we have a um, little less than 15 minutes. We, this is going to be really quick oh. today. Yeah. Bunch of quick. So quick. I didn't. Yeah. But it always does. It's oh, true. I think I'm making a car for my guy. Get around. The interesting <laughs> and tricky thing of, uh, of um, this kind of crocheting, of hyperbolic chain, uh, crocheting, is that the number of stitches that you are making for each row increases exponentially because you're doubling up every time. Oh, yeah. So you can go real, real quickly to a very long time getting through a row. We forgot to ask you, Barb, how far are you? <laughs> Karen and I are done almost. <laughs> oh yeah, well, I'm, I, 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 I went with kind of a <laughs> Oh, let's Larger look at scale thing. Archery. Yeah. It's uh I'm not I'm not, you know, the color's a little dull. I might have to ooh. What, what if I started? put yeah. Hmm? What if I, I put really like uh, yarn with it? Yes. I've got I've got some I've got some yarn. I might bust some out and, and yeah, add that to get the some. weaving I did is yarn, mm -hmm. then it's um seam mm -hmm. binding, yeah. then it's a giant piece of felt mm -hmm. <laughs> that I had done some stitching on. And it goes on and on in all different materials. So, yeah, I've got some uh, cool uh, yarns here. This is pretty fun. Oh, it looks like little seaweed. I know, right? Uh, there's... Yeah, look at the seaweed pile. It's not really seaweed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's this, which is also neat. It's... Oh, look at all this. We got to look up close, right, Karen? Let's get a close yeah. look. Yeah. This is fun. This is really, really pretty. 
This is wool, though. I need to um, do some... Uh, this is 100% wool. I should felt with this or something. Oh. Yeah. Karen, have you um, felt it? Actually, I felt it on the weekend. Let me show you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Karen, went, she was able to leave her home. <laughs> Let me see. Barb and I. Yeah. And go somewhere. Um, she went to a sewing retreat, was it? I believe yeah. that it was. It's a fantastic kind of impossibility that we don't understand. <laughs> Going somewhere. Going somewhere. Well, Going well, I didn't people. think we would be able to go either, but we were allowed. And so everyone had a skill and everybody shared their skills. And this one of the ladies, oh, she um, she guided us through making these little pixie pouches. Oh, that's lovely. I know, so cute. So, oh. and I love it. It's all felted. Do you? How do you wear that? Or can you? Can you? It looks like well, the some of the girls like put on your waist. Yeah, I was wearing it like that, but some of the girls wore theirs just around their neck. Oh. But mine's a bit long to wear around my neck and I'm only short. So, but yeah, most of the girls wore them like that. But um, I thought they were great and like really, really handy. But, you know, if you're doing a workshop and you've got that on your waist, you could put like, you know, your scissors or There's anything scissors. in there. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, can I get it off? <laughs> it's so graceful. Back <laughs> yeah. on you. That's awesome. Yeah, that I sounds. thought so too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's stuck now. Great. That's <laughs> it. That's it. That's fine. Leave it there until the show's over. <laughs> oh, well, it's stuck on the back of my right. head. I've managed to get it. That's, that'll be your magic. You're like, this is how I wear the pouch. <laughs> right here on the back. Just let me get my scissors. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I found just the right color for this. It looks like it's a from coral. like coral. Color. Yeah, it's it's very uh, it changes. It's pinks and oranges and I love the red colors. Yeah, I think this would be perfect for the coral. Too straight. I feel like I should add a color to my penguin's beak. Okay. There we go. I think I'm going to color him. Mm. It's not really working, but let's see if I put him down better. So we have seven minutes, ladies. Oh. Seven minutes. Let's do this just for kicks. I wonder how this works. Um, yeah, let's throw it in there. Oh my gosh, if I have, if I make a bunch of these, I can reenact March of the Penguins. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. And then, that'll be so much fun. I'll do it in stop motion. <laughs> that would look awesome. I want to see Well, that. which reminds me, Karen, Mr. Gnome. Tell us about Mr. <gasps> Gnome. I have a problem. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Are you, wait, Barb, are you okay? You said you have a problem. I have a problem. My crochet hook broke. Oh no! Oh, uh -oh, now oh you're no! If only you I knew. If I could only. If I could make another one. Oh well, it's fine. Oh. Oh. So, Here's um, we're well, going back to Mr. Gnome. Tell us about right, Mr. Mr. Gnome. Um, Mr. Gnome is just the story of the area where I live, pretty much. So. A uh, long time ago, this used to be just a um, farming area and we were very well known for, um, well, we still are very well known for strawberries, but also for bananas and uh, pineapples and all sorts of things. So it's just a story about a man who leaves his job in the city and he goes on an adventure to find all of these things that he's dreamt of. So clean air, good food and beautiful grass. And it's just a story about how he moves from the city to this place where I now live. And the thing is, is 
all of the seed pods in the story have been collected from my local area. So it's all to do with where I live. It's all about place, I suppose. Mm -hmm. It's just just a little story. And um and I'm working on some more stories as well too. So they're just yeah, they're just a little bit of fun and another way to use my art. Because sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, you do this this art and um it doesn't have a very long life, so mm. it's just another way to use it. And um, and it was fun because my son was included. Well, everyone was included in it. My husband played the character of Mr. No, mm -hmm. and um, and my son recorded the story for me. And his partner. She made some of the noises in the story as well too. So it was a um, it was a big effort on everyone's part, and it was fun. It was really fun. I've listened and, um, to it. It's, I have fun listening to it and oh, watching thank it. You. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank uh, you. Yeah, and I just sort of like thought, oh, yeah, I'm going to keep on going with it. So yeah, so the next one is going to be about. Um, about oh no it's not actually it's just about friendship the next one and about two people who are very different and but become really good friends because of the music that they both enjoy so just uh -huh. really simple little stories i love but, it you know important messages aren't they yes and can't you buy Mr. Gnome or Mr. Gnome packages or something at reverse garbage in australia oh yeah yeah, you can. Yeah. You can buy kits. That's so, it. Yeah. And um, the the packaging that um, the Mr. Gnome parts come in are all, um, they're all old environmental textbooks. Hmm. So the whole packaging is biodegradable. So once you finish with it, you could technically just put it in the compost bin. That is amazing. Yeah, and, thank and you. Was that something you made or did someone help you with the packaging? And just No, I, I just made it all myself. I just stitched it all up. I took the photo, then I stitched it onto the um to the uh, the old textbooks and sewed it all together and then put all of the pieces in and it just became a little kit. That is so, amazing. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Well since lockdown they've quite popular now too so which is understandable yes we could go on forever but i think we have uh two minutes <laughs> oh no <laughs> so what i've discovered about crocheting plastic yes. um is that uh it's difficult you probably yeah. want to do it with a real crochet hook oh. um or at least one that's made to be a little bit more sturdy um, and with the size that I have and the material that I have uh, doubling up on plastic and yarn was not working so I'm just gonna alternate rows mm. it's very slippery isn't it the plastic is like I mean it's more the it's just like I'm not using the super super thin this is the the kind that's intended to be reusable bags um mm. even though it's really not all that reusable oh yeah um yeah i had some of the other stuff but uh my friend was helping me clean and she got rid of it all she put it all in the recycling <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden i'm like oh i want to do oh i don't have that stuff anymore okay that's all right <laughs> that's why karen and i don't recycle <laughs> we recycle in the artistic way Yes. And at some point, if you want to clean up, clean your house, if you, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't art that fast. Oh, well, that's true. No, I'm sure Karen's the same. Do you have a boatload of supplies? Oh, yeah. You can make, yeah. Yeah. This whole room is overflowing with supplies. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I emptied everything before I moved, you know, not all the supplies, but I got rid of a lot. I donated a lot to other artists. And then all of a sudden, it tripled. I don't know what's going yeah. on. Yeah. Okay, so I made a little snow mound out of oh. 
another egg oh, so that he has a little snow mountain. Uh -huh. Oh, cute! <laughs> it's a little iceberg. And That's it's, uh, so cute. It's five o'clock. We've made it to our hour, or it's ten a.m. If you're in Australia. <laughs> oh, <laughs> or eight if you're on the east coast, or oh, yeah, if you're on the east coast, I don't. I'm losing track of time. <laughs> we'll a few more comments before we get going. Um, Richard came on, said, "Karen, I love your necklace. Yay, he loved the necklace." He said, "Mr. Gnome sounds like a blast. I'll have to share that with him." And then <laughs> that my penguin looks like a druid penguin. <laughs> it does. It does. It's a it's a druid baker penguin. A druid who baker. has a name? Oh, maybe I'm going to tell you guys next week. Okay. <laughs> next Saturday, I will tell you his name. Nice. You have to tune in to find out his name. We're going to be on our regular time, two o'clock uh, mm -hmm. California time, yep. and One. we will have guest Cindy Ryan and our theme is Midnight Garden. Ooh, that's cool. Did we get this last uh, question and I missed it entirely? Well, this person, we Diane Noren, whoever that is, uh, <laughs> asks what, what kind of pods those star-shaped ones were. Oh, yes. What's the plant or the tree, Karen? Ooh, I don't know. I could quickly ask my husband. He may know. But they just grow near um, a church around the corner and I just pick them up. Mm. Hang on. Go oh. and ask. Yeah, he's, he's hiding in the other room. Yeah, he is. as is your husband. Yeah, mine is too. <laughs> mine is we have to keep them locked away. Let's see. <laughs> oh, he's coming. He um, doesn't know either. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. Maybe we'll call uh, you next week too. Karen, you can find out and email me and I'll share with you. All right. Sure. Yeah, uh, I'll do that. Yeah. yeah. Tune in yeah. next week for maybe an answer. <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe an answer is correct. But see, I've just been coloring them in with a texture. They look awesome. Mm. And uh, this is coming along too. It yeah, it starts looking more like more when there's uh when there's some color in here, or at least some contrasting. Yay. Um it's starting to get a little bit of waviness happening. Oh a little bit. There's, yeah. some, there's some wavy happening. It's that gonna keep cool. on getting more and more as I go. Um, oh, hang on. I think yeah. we've found out what they are. Oh. oh. Crow's ash. It's from the crow's ash tree. Crow's ash. Oh. Now we're going to have to start searching around the U.S. to see if we have yeah. any. Uh-oh, oh, she's going to ash ash tree. But the show's going extra long because we oh. need to go. If okay, we okay, 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 okay. No, keep going. We, it's only 5.03. Uh, <laughs> Australian teak. Oh. Endemic to north northeastern Australia, ah. so might be unlikely for us to find here. Oh, we um, have an update. Oh, Hang oh. On. what does mm. that say? That's crow's egg pots. Oh no, it's all right because I've got them here. Okay. I was going to show me a picture of them on the internet, but I've got them here on the table. <laughs> There's already a picture on the internet of you holding it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, awesome. Okay. Well, Barb and I will do more research and let everyone know if we can find any here. Um, if not, I mean, we're going to have to ask you to mail us some. <laughs> I wonder if I could. I might be able to. Maybe. Maybe. In this direction. <laughs> I'll oh, try. I keep trying to leave, but one last thing again. One last thing. It turns out that Karen, our husbands, I think, are hanging out together virtually in a different way. Right. <laughs> 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 each in another room virtually hanging out, as we are too. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> the internet. I'm just tagging you. along. You know, I do more than tagging along. You're part of our group. <laughs> Yay. That's right. Okay. Well, thank you all for tuning in. We will be back next week. Go on to KarenBenjaminArtist.com. Check out Mr. Gnome and all the awesome stuff she's doing. Yay. Thank Bye. you. Bye. See you soon. Maybe. <laughs>